people always love to travel they want to go to and fro but uh, sometimes uh, people want to visit to australia and uh, somehow they like that place they love to stay there for a long if anyone go uh, with a visit visa but he or she may be overstayed then uh, what's the uh, situation will make uh, look absolutely visit a visa is there to come and visit and enjoy australia and visit your family maybe visit your friends have an opportunity to go you know and and visit some of the sightseeing for example mm -hmm. you can Apply for other visas if you come on a visit visa, as long as the government doesn't put a condition on your visa. There is an important condition that we call condition 8503. It's a magical number, four numbers. And it basically means if you have a condition of that, so no further stay, you can't stay longer. People who stay, nevertheless, what happens with them is there is going to be quite a number of different things you need to remember by way of punishment. One, they get put in a detention center if somebody tells the government about this. And two, they have very limited options to apply for another visa. So it's not about penalty by money that they pay, penalty by way of the future. They don't have much options. Mm -hmm. And that really creates a big disaster for everyone. I, I will give you an example. I have met a gentleman who's been in Australia 15 years illegal, opened a business, had people working for him, Australian people working for him, and it took us five years to get his permanent residency. Now, in the five years, he spent close to $60,000 because he did so many wrong things on the way. Mm -hmm. So don't overstay. It is not worth it because it will catch up, if not in one month, two months, maybe in a year. Mm -hmm. And if you become sick and go to the hospital, the first thing the hospital will ask or the doctor will ask is to see your identification Identity. and that be, be a big problem. So best to plan and plan it according, obviously, to your options. Additionally, I can ask something that uh, what are some common challenges or hurdles that migrants often encounter during that immigration process? Look, that's a very good question you have there. There's a lot of challenges. One of the biggest challenges, they don't get given good advice, good legal advice. The first good legal step, advice yes. means good options. Basically, if somebody tells me I want to visit Australia and I want to work, we need to look at the bigger picture. What is it that they want? They want to make Australia a home. They want to just go for short periods and not getting the right advice means you spend a lot of money, you stay in Australia 10 to 15 years, from one student visa to another student visa to another one to another one. And that is because a lot of the colleges that work with agents, not migration agents, not lawyers, but education agents, all they're interested is in money. They don't care about that person's future. So that is the biggest challenge that I've seen. I have seen many amazing people from Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, mm -hmm. and I cannot believe how much time they have spent in this country and they haven't got their permanent residency. So make sure you get good advice if you really want to have this place as your home. I should say that, yeah.